This video is about understanding GDP. Hello, I'm Peter Martin with Trading212 and I'm going to explain a little bit about gross domestic product GDP um, and primarily about the US GDP report. Now, GDP data is a big deal for economists, for policymakers and for traders because it is the most comprehensive measure of an, how a nation's economy has been faring. It's calculated as the sum of market values of all final goods and services produced domestically in a nation over the period in question. The US GDP report is reported on a quarterly basis by the Commerce Department's Bureau of Economic Analysis, the BEA. Now, the GDP report contains uh, a lot of data, a wealth of data about such things as personal income and uh, consumer expenditures and uh, national income and corporate profits and inflation and all this data together tells us about how the economy has performed for example whether the economy has expanded or contracted by looking at current changes and looking back to changes in the past it's possible for economists to draw conclusions about where the economy is headed the BEA uh, produces three versions of each report for each quarter so that you get an advanced report which is the earliest version and this comes out about a month after the question uh, the quarter in question and then there is a preliminary report this is the second version as more de data becomes available um, and this is re released about a month after the first report so it's about two months after the quarter in question and then the third one is the final report which comes out a month roughly a month after the second report so this is about three months after the report uh, the quarter in question the BEA calculates GDP using the aggregate expenditure method using uh, the well-known equation that says uh, GDP equals consumer spending plus gross private uh, investment plus government spending plus the net export value of goods and services, i.e. exports minus imports. And of these components in the US, it's consumer spending that is by far the largest component. On average, in the past, it tends to constitute about two-thirds of the whole of GDP. As traders, we tend to be most interested in uh, divergences in GDP growth from expectations because that tends to move the market the most. But generally speaking, strong GDP growth is bullish for stocks and for corporate profits. But as strong GDP growth tends to go hand in hand with inflation, um, a strong GDP report tends to be bearish for the bond market. Uh, traders tend to look at the quarter over quarter change in GDP growth. Economists tend to look at the year over year change in GDP growth because this can make it easier to identify turning points in the economy. And as well as just looking at the overall changes in growth, traders also focus on consumer spending because it is such a large component of the calculation. But they also look at Deflators. What are deflators? Well, GDP is reported in two types. It's reported as nominal GDP, which is current dollar value GDP, and real GDP, which attempts to uh, adjust that nominal GDP for the effects of inflation. How that's done is a quite a complex process, and I'm not going to get into that, but by comparing um, nominal GDP to real GDP, you get this implied deflator. Uh, the value that the nominal GDP is being deflated by to give you real GDP. And this is of interest for various reasons because it implies a very uh, broad measure of inflation. The PCE deflator, excluding food and energy, for example, is often used as a wide benchmark for core inflation in the US. It's broader than say CPI because CPI just looks at a fairly narrow basket of goods and services whereas the PCE deflator is looking across the 
whole breadth of the economy. Well, that's just a quick introduction to GDP. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button and give us a like. Or if you've got any feedback, why not send us a message in the comments section? We do read through every comment we receive. As well as doing these educational videos, we also do videos with analysis of popular markets such as gold and crude oil and euro versus US dollar. The best way to access all that video content is to click on the subscribe button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And we do upload new videos on a regular basis. If you click on the alarm bell icon, then you'll get a notification the next time we upload a new video to YouTube. And you won't miss out. But that's all for this time from me, Peter Martin, Trading212. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.